and welcome to Motor Rides. My name is Vipul and in this video we're going to take a look at Tata's urban tough roader, the Tiago NRG. The Tiago NRG was launched in 2018 and after the BS6 norms were introduced, the production of the NRG had stopped. But Tata has relaunched the NRG uh, today and we're going to take a quick walk around the car and show you what the changes are and how the new NRG is to look at. So uh, let's start with the rear of the NRG. The very noticeable changes that you will see will be in the body cladding of uh, the NRG on the bumper. You also get for diffuser here in grey color which looks really nice and then on the back just like the older NRG you have this plastic cladding once again that is wrapping the rear of the NRG. You also get a rear parking camera and this is a request sensor to open the boot. We'll check it out a little later. Now the NRG is based on the Tiago's XZ Plus variant and this car also gets a rear wiper washer and a defogger. You will also get to see a roof mounted stoplight and this spoiler piece which also gives it a good look. Now coming to the side, again the noticeable changes are on the body cladding over here. The entire side is wrapped with a plastic body cladding which gives it that tough rugged look and if you see if you notice the ground clearance of the car is also raised up. Ground clearance of the NRG is 181 millimeters which is 11 millimeters more than the uh, normal regular Tata Tiago. If you look at the wheels also you get 16 inch uh, steel wheels. Tata engineers have very cleverly designed this to look like alloy wheels. They are not alloy wheels but they are steel wheels with a plastic cap on top. Another noticeable change are these door handles which are black in color and they have a gloss finish here which makes it stand out from the regular Tiago. Now on the C pillar you will also get this blackened out uh, treatment. This is actually a sticker, this is not a paint job, it's a sticker but it gives the car a sloping roof line kind of a look which looks really nice. And this extends all the way to the front on the B pillar and till the window line ends. You also get blackened rear view mirrors with the turn indicators mounted on it. Another thing that really looks really nice is the wheel arches. They are what Tata calls it a square sickle which like they are squared out but circular and the wheels fill up the wheel arches very well. So that's another good addition. Moving to the front of the car there are not a lot of changes except for this extended body cladding which extends all the way down to this for diffuser again. This actually gives a really good look to the car and overall the car looks more rugged and more tough like Tata would call it. Like the regular Tiago you will have halogen lights with halogen fog lamps which are nicely hidden into the uh, bumper cladding. Also on the side you will see these roof rails which give it another suv -ish look. However, these roof rails are not functional. We would have loved if these were functional and you know you can actually uh, carry luggage on top. But these are just aesthetic and uh, yeah. Apart from that, you will also get a piano black finish on the roof. So it's a completely blackened out roof which also gives the car a very nice look. Talking about the dimensions of the car, there is no change in the wheelbase of the car nor the width. However, the car is now 37 meters longer and 2 meters taller thanks to the roof rails that have been given. Another big change for the Tiago NRG is this key. Now, if you look at this key, this, uh, this key is very common with the Nexons and the Harriers and the Tata Altros. The Tiago regularly gets a flip key which is not the case with the NRG which also means that you can now have keyless entry so I can just put the key in my pocket I don't need to unlock the car just press the request sensor and the car unlocks on the driver's side there are no noticeable changes you get power window controls for all four doors with a one touch up and down for the driver's side only and you also get a child lock besides that you can hold big bottles over here I'm not sure if it will hold a 1 litre bottle but yeah a 500ml bottle should hold fine. 
you get a height adjustable seat only for the driver's side the passenger side does not have height adjustment so uh, let's get it inside the car and see what are the other changes that the NRG gets okay now inside the car all you'll get to see is this nice sporty black interiors uh, which are pretty nice as per the standards in this segment and uh, like yeah of course you get hard plastics but there's nothing to complain about uh, there is a nice 7 inch Harman touch screen which comes as standard in this version and one very important change is this start stop button now since we have a keyless go key Tata has also equipped the NRG with a start stop function the AC vents will get a chrome garnish on the center console as well as on the side um, with a glossy finish here one thing to complain about basically here this is a fingerprint magnet so like you'll have to keep cleaning this every time someone touches it um one important thing that uh, the energy misses is the automatic climate control so the tata tiago xz plus gets an automatic climate control which is missing on this car uh, so this is just a normal manual control for your aircon for charging you get a usb port and a 12 volt charging port here uh, there is a slot for installing uh, an auxiliary port as well there is some storage space here to keep your phone and your wallet gear knob is wrapped in black which also looks nice adds to the sporty feel of the car you get uh, two cup holders here so which could hold a big cup and a small cup and there is a little cubby hole where you can put the key so in terms of practicality the tiago energy has you covered quite well except for the bottle holders we would have loved if it had one liter big bottle holders which it does not have um, the steering wheel uh, there is no leather wrapping on it it's just a basic plastic steering wheel with some glossy touches here you have steering mounted controls for the audio and your telephony and you also have voice commands so you can hit this button and you can give voice commands to the car to make and receive calls change music tracks etc so the steering wheel has a nice rubbery texture to it it's nice and chunky to hold and you get a d cut st steering wheel so which look gives adds to the sporty look of the car um coming to the instrument console it's uh, pretty similar to what you get on the regular tiago and on the right hand side you have the fuel gauge on the left hand side you will have the tachometer and the speedometer is inside this MID display. You also get two trip meters, average fuel consumption, and all other telltale lights. The Harman sound system is equipped with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and it has also onboard navigation. The car is equipped with eight speakers, which are four speakers in each of the door panels, and four tweeters. Coming to the glove box of the car, it's a pretty big glove box to store your knickknacks. You also get some space here to store your documents, so like your car documents can be stored here. There is no cooling, there are no lights here. So yeah, that's kind of a missing feature in the glove box. But we are pretty happy with the space that it offers. You get some space here, toll ticket holder here. So nowadays you don't need toll receipt, so you can just stick in your fast tag over here. Besides that, for the driver's side, you just have a toll ticket holder. There are no vanity mirrors. There is a speaker here for your telephony, for your Bluetooth. For the passenger side, there is a vanity mirror, but there is no illumination here. You also get uh, automatic folding uh, rear view mirrors. So once you're inside the car, you can close and open them. You just need to press and hold this button and the ORVMs will open and uh, shut. They are electronically adjustable, so you can adjust it from here. Both the ORVMs can be adjusted from here. Uh, coming to the instrument console here, so this is the button to lock and unlock the car, and this is to release the boot. This is the button for the uh, defogger. Coming to the rear view mirrors, 
these are not auto dimming you have a manual mechanism to adjust the dimming feature uh, in terms of safety uh, it has uh, two airbags uh, so both the airbags are for the front two passengers there are no airbags for the rear passengers sadly coming to the upholstery of the car you get all fabric seats they are in black with some gray touches here and uh, what tata calls as deco stitch so you get this nice white stitching here which gives it a contrasting look and overall the interior feels very nice it's a good place to be in the seats at the rear are also very comfortable it's a longish bench so yes uh, it, it is a very comfortable car for four adults and a child uh, three adult seating will be a bit difficult the fabric is same as in the front and it's it's very nice uh, pretty decent space i've adjusted the seat to my height and still i have pretty decent space here you get big bottle holders here you can place one liter bottle holders you have the controls for your uh, windows and tweeters on the doors as well along with the speaker coming to the center console uh, if you notice there is no hand rest shoulder rest for the front passengers also what is missing is a rear ac vent you however get a bottle holder or a cup holder you can use it as a bottle holder or cup holder or you can use it as a storage space the seats do not get adjustable headrests also there is no armrest for the rear passengers either another thing missing is the isofix uh, child seat mounts you however get a two point seat belt for the third passenger overall the back seat is a uh, pretty decent space to be in coming to the boot of the car there are three ways you can open the boot one is from the inside where there is a boot release button second is the button here uh, where you can just hold the button and release the boot third way to do it there is a request sensor here on the boot lid which you just press and then you can release the boot coming to the boot it's a uh, pretty decent size boot is the same as the tiago which is 242 liters you also get a parcel shelf and a spare wheel which is again a steel wheel but uh, this is a 13 inch wheel so it's smaller than the 15 inches that are offered as standard mechanically there are no changes in the NRG and the engine is shared with the regular Tiago there are no changes in terms of performance either it is the same 1.2 liter BS6 Revatron petrol engine that produces 86 PS of power and 113 Newton meter torque the engine is mated to a 5-speed manual and there is also an AMT option available. However, like the regular Tiago, there is no diesel option in the NRG as well. The claimed petrol efficiency is about 23 km to the litre. However, in the real world, you can expect a mileage of 18 to 20 km to the litre. In terms of safety, the NRG, like the regular Tiago, retains a 4-star global end cap safety rating and is equipped with two airbags, ABS with EBD and cornering stability control as standard. Now coming to the price, the Tiago NRG is available only in one fully loaded variant and the price for the manual version is 6.57 lakhs ex showroom while the amt version will set you back but by 7.09 lakh ex showroom delhi the tiago energy also comes with a standard warranty of 70,000 kilometers or two years whichever comes earlier the energy will be available in four colors namely the forester green snow white cloudy gray the fire red the energy is a little heavier than the uh, regular Tiago thanks to all the plastic cladding that has been added. The car is about 40 kgs heavier now. So um, if you're looking for a car uh, wherein you know you need to go a little off-roading or you drive regularly on very rough roads, the NRG is a very good option for you. Hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to Motoroids and Always put motoroids in your searches so that you can find our videos. Thank you once again. Take care. Stay blessed.